All right, here we have a demo of my HTML5 scoreboard OCR system that will let you point a camera at a scoreboard and have the system read that scoreboard and send the information from it to live text and possibly eventually other graphics programs for live productions. And it's a really neat system, so I'm going to start it now. Here we have a pre-recorded video of some sort of custom scoreboard. I found it on YouTube, but it makes a very good demonstration. So I have one field preset here, which is clock minutes tens. If I click on that, then you can see all of the different points here for that field, and the lines between all of those points and where the seven segment LCD would normally be if all uh, seven of the segments were lit up. If I mouse over here, then we can see the individual points being shown as I move through the individual points over here, and we can see which of the segments are on and which are off, which is very useful when we're trying to figure out if one of the segments isn't aligned correctly. Then down here, uh, the way that you actually set up seven segment displays is using the displays for corners and then the actual points on the display are generated automatically using a matrix transformation. So if I want to actually adjust it then I can click this set field corners button and then if I click on one of the corners and drag it around then we can actually see the uh, entire shape of that field moving around to follow my mouse. And normally it performs a bit quicker than it is now, but because I've also got the recording software running, it's running a little bit slowly. Just due to uh, a lot of video RAM being used up. So it's actually a really cool transformation it does there. It's a matrix transform. It's used in a whole lot of places in this, usually in the background, but now and then you can actually see it in action. So we just hit done to tell it that we're finished adjusting those. And also great is that I can save and load profiles for different scoreboards. So if I save this, the only one I have set now is clock minutes tens, and that's not too much to redo, but if I had every one of these displays pre-configured, then it would be incredibly convenient to be able to save the scoreboard and reload it later. And it automatically, when you load the system, jumps to the last saved file, but you can also create new files, select between multiple, and then load any of your existing files. Another great thing is that you can set the corners of the scoreboard. So right here we see the corners of the scoreboard and there as I move around the corner you can see that that matrix transform is happening again and all of the points on the scoreboard that are currently set which currently are just the ones for that one seven segment LCD are moving around so that is really convenient when I'm trying to line up the corners of the scoreboard with the actual scoreboard. I can make sure that all of the points are going in their correct places as well. So you see this green box here is what I'm adjusting and then everything else automatically uh, moves to fit that. The best part about this though, about being able to adjust the corners, is that that means that if you have a scoreboard set up once with a camera set up on it at one angle, then let's say you save that scoreboard configuration, the save button here, and then at the end of the day you tear down all of your equipment, you tear down the camera, you pack up the computer, and you leave. And later you either come back to the same field or stadium or whatever else, or even go to somewhere else that has the same model of scoreboard in a different place, then you can use that same setup 
even though your camera isn't at exactly the same angle. All you have to do is set your corners and adjust it so that all of the corners are in the right places and all of the points line up with these little dots on the display. And then the system will automatically adjust everything to match up with those new four corners you've given it and then start reading that scoreboard from the different angle, which is a really outstanding feature. It, I, I had a little bit of help with those matrix transforms and it turned out incredibly well. Then I'm just going to give a quick overview on the field options we have here. We have a single field, which is... Uh, there aren't too many uses for that, but if you have just a single dot on a display and you want to send that to your graphic software, then you can use that for that. Home slash away is useful for something like these little arrows to show, let's say, um, possession or something like that. And then you can just click on the individual arrows. Here I'll demonstrate. So this is home and then that's approximately where away is. Just give it a name, so possession. And then that shows up as an H because possession is currently home. And then I can mouse over these and see where the actual points are. Once again, it is uh, it shows up more cleanly when I'm not running the recording software. It, it's pretty much real-time when that's not going on. Then there's the two-segment LCD, which is basically for uh, if you've got just the number one is usually displayed by just two LCD segments that might have more use eventually. Then the most versatile of all of your choices is the seven-segment LCD. And that is any of these number displays so for those, originally I had it set up so you would have to click each of the individual segments, but that could be a bit of a pain. So I set up a matrix transform. All you have to do is click each of the four corners. So let's say I go with this shot clock, and it tells you what order you should be clicking them in. Then I'll name it so shot clock uh, ones. and then it automatically generates all of the points that it needs for that. And if I was a little bit off the first time, then I can always go back on the set field corners and adjust that. So we can mouse over and see all those points again. Then your other options are a counter, which, uh, actually now I think about it, I can't remember what I made that, so uh, I guess I'll put that in the description. Maybe it doesn't do anything. I don't know, that that was old code. I can't remember what I did with that. And string is for if you want something to be uh, just a fixed string. Let's say the colon in this clock. We need a fixed colon. So I just type a colon and hit OK. And then we have a single colon that we can use later. Then also useful is composite. And that, uh, I don't have too much useful setup right now, but if I add a composite field, then I can click on multiple fields in order and hit OK here. There we go. A bit of lag because of the recording software. So, multiple demo, all right. And it uh, looks like something's a little bit wrong at the moment. I, I guess I'll fix it. <laughs> I don't know. I've been making a lot of changes. I could have accidentally broken something. I'll have it fixed soon. But uh, normally, clicking three in a row then makes a new field that's just those three concatenated together. So right now it would show 20H for what I just selected. So that's how the system works. As you can see, there are a few bugs in the system at the moment because I'm just 
fiddling around with it myself, and it's not completely finished, but uh, apart from those few bugs that you uh, may have seen during this video, it's ready for use, and that's really outstanding. It, it's going to make all of our scoreboard operations at LTTV a whole lot easier. It's a really cool thing. I'm glad I ended up going through with this. So, thanks for watching. Comment. Check out the source code on GitHub. Read it. Reuse the OCR portion because it's awesome. Thanks.